Today we're in Blackpool, the UK's most famous seaside town. We're here to compare the cheapest hotel in Blackpool. What are your thoughts initially? It's <clears throat> quite peculiar. To the most expensive hotel in Blackpool. Ooh. Yeah! Let's get to it. We're Ryan and Jade, otherwise known as Live the Dash. We love taking on travel challenges and answering weird travel questions. That's why we're searching for a 99p Mr. Whippy, asked for pineapple on pizza in Naples, and travel to all the UK capitals in 24 hours. There are more than 230 hotels in Blackpool, and in this video, you'll get to see the best and the worst. You'll never be able to guess the price of the cheapest, and for the most expensive, well, let's just say it's quite unique. We are in the car and we are heading to Blackpool for our British seaside holiday. This is my first time in Blackpool in a little while and we couldn't have picked a sunnier day for it, so I'm very excited. Blackpool used to be the place to go to if you were going on a holiday in the UK. Millions of people would descend on this beach throughout the year, staying in all the hotels, going to the pleasure beach, watching the ballroom dancing. But in the 1960s, the introduction of budget airlines and cheap package holidays meant that people stopped going to Blackpool. So we're heading there today to check it out. Apparently, over 10 million people every year used to go to Blackpool. And bear in mind, that was probably bigger than the population of London. So this is like the second most popular place in the UK at one point. The place has obviously fallen on harder times in more recent years. It's not as popular as it once was. And then interestingly, when we were reading, the reason Blackpool became so popular is because it has a really nice beach. Apparently bathing in the sea wasn't always that popular, but as it became more popular, that is why Blackpool became really popular because people went there to go in the sea. We're 13 minutes away from Blackpool now. It's just an hour drive from Manchester, so not too far a journey today. I'm a little nervous about the cheap accommodation. In fact, I'm a little nervous about the expensive accommodation as well, to be fair. Blackpool can always throw some weird things at you. So in 12 minutes time, we will be in Blackpool. Okay, so we have arrived in Blackpool and we're now just walking down the promenade. The Big Dipper is just behind us. So we're here in sunny Blackpool. Blackpool for me, I haven't been that many times. I never came here as a kid. I've only ever been here as an adult. Blackpool is many things. The ice cream, the home of Mr. Whippies for sure. And uh, I also like the fish and chips here. So I think when in Rome, that is what you need to do. So I think we should go and get some fish and chips now. We've got fish and chips on the beach. You can't go to Blackpool without having a chippy. These are so good. 5.75 for fish and chips, that's decent. So we're just walking down Blackpool Promenade now and behind me is a very special landmark. That is the world's biggest glitter ball. Six meters in diameter, created by an artist by this name. And um, I'm not really sure why it's here, but ballroom dancing is very famous in Blackpool. So I'm assuming that it has something to do with that. Three. Three. One of the most famous parts of the Blackpool skyline is the Blackpool Tower that you can see in the distance. This building was obviously inspired by the Eiffel Tower in Paris, but there is a key difference between the Blackpool Tower and the Eiffel Tower. And it is that the Blackpool Tower was designed to sway in the wind and the Eiffel Tower is much more rigid. So there you go. One nil to Blackpool. One, one nil to Blackpool. Another fact about the Eiffel Tower is that... that the, oh, sorry. <laughs> Another fact about the Blackpool Tower is that there is a treasure chest buried underneath it. No one knows what's in it. So we've made it to Blackpool, as you can see. Just having a lovely stroll along the coast but it's time to get down to business because we're not here for walks on the beach. We're here to look at the cheapest hotel in Blackpool and compare it to the most expensive hotel in Blackpool. So I think you should do the honors. What way. are we gonna go for first? We're gonna go for the cheapest first. Let's do the cheapest first. So Jade is now gonna go on booking.com and find the cheapest hotel for this evening and get it booked. So talk us through it. I'm a bit nervous about this. How much are we talking? I don't know, but I'm gonna to have to change the search now to go from cheapest. The anticipation is killing me. The top one has five out of 10. 
and it's joint top because there's another one which is four. It says disappointing, but it's 200 yards from the beach. So on Booking.com, there's obviously like a rating system, zero to 10. I always try and stay in places that are eight and above, which I think is pretty normal. So what's his face? Four. Yeah. How much is it? 18 pound. Are we, in a, are we on our own, in our own room? Yeah, you're in your own room. I mean, I'm a little bit worried because the reviews, oh no, there's one, sorry. I thought the reviews stopped in 2022. So there's one here from March. It says, very good location and the name is true to the word. Unfortunately, the shower worked, but I couldn't get it hot. There was a shared shower room, which I used though. I don't want to share a shower. The second says, very thin walls. <laughs> the other one says, cons, the bedroom. <laughs> black mold in the shower tray. I always look for black mold in the shower tray. A hallmark of a fantastic hotel. But it's a two minute walk from the water park and the promenade. So people are saying the location is good. The water park's literally just there as it well. So it must be it. really close. I think we're going to book this one. A double room with a shared bathroom. Next time you see us, we'll be en route to this hotel. We're just on our way to the cheapest hotel. I am starting to regret this. It's not looking good. Is this a good idea? <laughs> ah. This isn't it, is it? That looks awful. Behind me is the cheapest hotel in Blackpool. I'm a little bit nervous to go and check this place out. It did only cost £18 a night, but let's see what it's like. What are your thoughts initially? It's quite peculiar. Welcome to the cheapest hotel in Blackpool. This is what £18 a night gets you. Initial impressions is very small and it is so hot. There is a radiator here that is blasting heat around this room. It's hot. 18 pound a night, it gets you a bed. It actually gets you your own bathroom. We were told that it was a shared bathroom, but I'm hoping that's private. It's not great, but I reckon we can spend a night here. This is a room tour, it's gonna be very quick. In this corner here, we've got a bed, quite compact. There's a TV, there's a kettle with some tea bags, little pots of milk. We've got a wardrobe here. Shall I open it? I don't really want to touch. <laughs> wardrobe with hangers. Over here is where we have the sink area with a mirror. You can wash your hands in here. A view of the rooftop over there. And then in here, we've got a bathroom. So we were told it was a shared bathroom, but this is a private bathroom. It's actually probably bigger than our shower at home, but we have a very small shower. I think this is absolutely fine. This is better than I was expecting from the shower. So there you have it. This is the room tour. This is the cheapest hotel in Blackpool, 18 pound a night. It gets you a bed, your own bathroom, but there's not much more to show you. One of my favorite bits of the room though, is the sound the door makes when you open and close it. Let's hope there's not anyone coming in late at night or early in the morning. It's gonna be a long night. Don't say I don't treat you to the finest places in life. I quite like it here. You know what? After the initial shock is over, this place is actually pretty cute and you know, it's charming in its own way. Do you think? I reckon so. Yeah, could do with a clean though. Is this the worst place I've ever stayed? Okay, that was an experience. I think it's time we had a bit of luxury in our lives. We're now going to try the other end of the spectrum and we're going to head to the most expensive hotel room we could find today in the whole of Blackpool. <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, we're both studying dog poo. We have left the cheapest hotel in Blackpool behind and we are now about to find the most expensive hotel in Blackpool. This has to be better. Last night was interesting. That's the only way that I can describe it. I don't have many more words than that. So I'm going to fill, sort by... You could do it by like five star. There are only four five star hotels in Blackpool. So we will be staying at one of the four. The most expensive and quite frankly, the most unique looking hotel on this list is the Boulevard Hotel. And it looks like it's situated in a theme park. It has gone 8.8 .8 on booking.com. And that is from 3000 reviews. Let me just read some of these reviews quickly. This hotel was lovely. The bed was big and comfy. The interior design was amazing. The detail of everything was excellent. It's got a fitness center, a bar, and it's right on the beachfront. It's looking a lot better than yesterday. I'm looking at the rooms here. We are selecting a suite room and it is costing 
15 pound for one night. But the crazy thing is, is that these two hotels are within like a two minute walk from each other. But I'm hoping there is gonna be a bit of a difference in quality. Let's go and find out. We are now about to stay at Blackpool's most expensive hotel. It's called the Boulevard and we are staying in a park view suite. As you can see, it is a pretty unique place. This hotel sits in the shadow of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. It's probably one of the most unique car parks I've ever been in, let alone hotels. You can actually see Blackpool Pleasure Beach through these gates. I could put my hand through that gate and touch Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Touching it. I'm touching it with my hand. You touched the butt. This place comes with a high price tag because it has the park view. Let's go inside. We're about to see Blackpool's most expensive hotel room for the very first time. Oh, wow. Welcome to my crib. Come on in. I actually don't know what this room is specifically called, but I'm pretty sure it's something along the lines of a park view suite. We've got this section over here. This is like the living room section. Uh, it's also a little dark in here, not loads of natural light, but you know, we're working with it. What have we got over here? We've obviously got the kettle and some pyramid tea bags. We've got a massive TV on the wall in our living room, so that's really nice. So we've been given a free bottle of red wine with the room, two glasses. That is quite a nice touch. This is the master bedroom. It's like internal in the room, so there's actually no window in the room. Uh, and it looks pretty comfy. Should I see how comfy it is? Yeah. Very comfy. Yeah, there's another big TV in the bedroom as well here. And then before I show you the piece de resistance of this room, let's have a look at the bathroom, see what that's saying. Oh, nice. Marble, bath, and a shower. Oh, this is cool. All of the amenities in this bathroom are bull main. 15 pound each though, if you do steal the bottles. So don't, that what it says? don't steal the bottles, yeah. That is a full tour of this grand bathroom to the living room. There is one reason why we wanted to stay in this hotel room and we haven't showed you that yet. It is the piste de resistance of this room. Let me show you, it's out of the window. There are not many hotels in the world that have this kind of view, but if you look out of this window, we have a park view suite and the park is a theme park. So if you look out this window, you can see a massive roller coaster. As far as hotel rooms go, I would say this is one of the most interesting views that you can have out of a hotel. You have two choices, an ocean view or a park view. I would pick the park view every time. But yeah, it's quite an interesting, unique room. This room cost us £215 for one night, 11 times more than the cheapest room. Let us know which one you would prefer to stay in. Okay, we'll give it the bounce test. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> it's a good bed. Bed and trampoline, 10 out of 10.